Hey there guys, this is George, your weekend traveler here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. From Christmas trees and mistletoe, it is the Gettysburg Christmas Festival 2023. In Melting Pot America, we celebrate Christmas much like our ancestors did who came over on the boats. In this holiday special, we're going to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to take a look at the annual Gettysburg Christmas Festival held the first weekend of December every year. We're going to enjoy the food, the festivity, the fun, and of course, we're going to do it with friends. Gettysburg started its festivities with its tree lighting ceremony which ushered in the start of the holiday season. Only a week later, this tourist town would play host to an annual Christmas festival that is enjoyed by the young and old alike. It's now 9 a.m. in the morning and the Christmas festival is just starting to get set up here on this beautiful Saturday morning. It's a little foggy but it should be a nice day. So it's gonna be up to 60, that's right, 60 degrees today. We will start our event at Lincoln Square before making our way up to the Jenny Wade House, back to the square itself, over down Steinware Avenue, and then end at Lincoln Square. And what's a Christmas festival without some Ziggy Donuts? Yep, get some donuts from Ziggy. Ziggy Donuts makes homemade donuts from scratch. They have their food cart and their location in Hanover with holiday flavors you cannot go wrong. I got a dozen. I make sure I got my campfire and I got some holiday flavors. I'm gonna be taking with me to work. But don't worry, after work I'll be back here by 2 p.m. We leave the Lincoln Square and head up Baltimore Street to the Jenny Wade House as they are holding a special event for the Christmas Festival weekend where you can not only shop Christmas but have the chance to meet Civil War Santa and Adam Sheffs, the Victorian historian. Also Coco, the Gettysburg Tour Center mascot. Hi Coco! I am dressed as the original American Santa Claus as depicted by famed illustrator Thomas Nast. Thomas Nast was a very strong supporter of the Union, so he wanted to make sure that people knew that Santa was for the Union cause. So in this illustration, the first of an American Santa, done in um, January of 1863, he shows Santa dressed literally in the Union flag. And he's entertaining all these Union troops. He's giving them lots of presents because they're fighting on the right side. You see his uh, reindeer in the background. After the war, Thomas Nast will go on to create the modern Santa we all know and love. With the red suit, with the fact that he has a Mrs. Claus, that he has a headquarters at the North Pole that's manned by elves, and that he provides Christmas toys to all the good boys and girls throughout the world. We take a leave of the Jenny Wade House and head back down Baltimore to Lincoln Square, where this nativity scene is set up outside of Nerd Herd Games and Gifts, which reminds us all of the true meaning of Christmas as told in the Bible. As an angel sent by God to a young woman whose name was Mary, and the angel said, Fear not, that I shall give birth to his son, and you shall name him Jesus. 
and he shall be called the Son at the Most High, and his kingdom will have no end. What is a Christmas festival without shopping local at a store called Kadori's? It is a one-of-a-kind store that has a treasure trove of unique and beautifully curated items from statues, glass Christmas ornaments, to handmade nutcrackers. Around the corner is the official headquarters for everything Gettysburg Christmas Festival, Lark. This modern marketplace is a gem offering a bounty of unique gifts perfect for all gift-giving occasions. From the ho 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 holidays to that one of a kind gift that you have to have. Lark has everything you want, even on this Christmas festival weekend. Behind the Art Oasis stage is the Festival Tavern. Within this white tent, you will find everything that is merry, from Mason Dixon Distillery to the Adams County Winery. We will be back a little bit later to sample some of the drinks. Outside the tent is what we call human foosball. What is foosball? It's a tabletop version of soccer in which players turn rods fixed on top of a playing box and attached to miniature figures of players in order to flick the ball and strike it towards the goal. In human foosball, it is exactly the same thing, but human sized. He shoots and all oh, reflected by the goalie! Our next location is a must for everything Christmas, the Christmas Haas. This store is a classic European Christmas shop offering an incredible selection of classic European handcrafted ornaments and classic smokers. I highly recommend the Christmas Haas to anyone looking for that perfect Christmas decoration or a treat for themselves. Uh, are the kids behaving this year, Santa? No. Oh, they, the elves are misbehaving. The children have been wonderful. <laughs> As we venture our way around the square, we have to stop and say hi to Perry Como and Abraham Lincoln as they are decked out and ready for the holidays. Right next door is the official festival gift shop where they are selling official Gettysburg Christmas merchandise like this hat. So Lark isn't the only place where you can get your Ho 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 Holiday Festival merchandise. Gettysburg lasts three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And of course, there's a lot of merriment, people walking around with their Santa hats and sweaters. It's a huge, huge big deal here at Gettysburg. And of course, I had to get my little hat here. Uh, Gettysburg, Baltimore Street. Kind of, yeah. Show my support. We take our leave of the Lincoln Square and head down Baltimore to Steinware Avenue. As nighttime now sets in, the glimmer of Christmas lights can be seen everywhere from O'Rourke's to the average gift shop and of course the bed and breakfast. We have reached our next destination, the Gettysburg Heritage Center where more Christmas holiday fun is taking place 
from riding a reindeer to this giant light bright board and of course more music. Take a little drink break. We got here Mason Dixon Distilling Company. This is bourbon and ginger ale. There's something about it that sounds so good. I still have bottle number one of most of everything they made. So this is a craft cocktail. So let's go ahead and pour it. Let's go ahead and try this out. The pour is nice. Pour is smooth. It looks good. Anything with ginger ale has to be absolutely delicious. So, wait for the phone to go down. Go pie. Oh my god. Yeah. You can taste the bourbon. Taste the ginger ale. Woo! You can definitely taste the bourbon. That's good. Just a fair warning, your alcohol is quite strong. But it, this is absolutely excellent. Mason Dixon Distilling Company, guys. Check them out. And with that, we say good night as we end our 2023 Gettysburg Christmas Festival. Thanks for joining me here at the 2023 Gettysburg Christmas Festival. Feliz Navidad, happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, and a Merry Christmas to all. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more videos here at the EPG Network. Till next time, guys. Happy travels.